In this class, students train to be assassins to destroy their teacher, that is a yellow octopus alien. If they manage to do it, they will win $70 million each. It was an ordinary day until a huge blast destroyed most of the moon. The next day, a mysterious creature appeared in front of a third-year class of the lowest performing students of an elite school. This strange combination of Pac-Man and Octopus announced that it will be their teacher. It also reveals to be the one who destroyed the moon, and will also destroy the planet in one year. And the only way to stop it is by assassinating him. That is the requirement for them to graduate. A man from the Ministry of Defense named Karasuma is standing next to the creature. It reveals the creature named Koro made a deal with the government. It requested to become the teacher of their class, and it won't hurt the students. But the students must do everything to assassinate it. And if they manage to kill the creature, they will be rewarded with $70 million each. Karasuma gives them specially made weapons and ammo to assassinate Koro, and reveals it doesn't hurt humans. And why doesn't the government kill it, you ask? The answer is, this creature is 20 times faster than the speed of sound, so not even military trained men or normal weapons can take it out. And for some reason, they think kids will. The students were shocked to see the teacher use a gun to fire at its tentacles, but in a matter of seconds, it regenerated. The students accept the idea because of the money. During the lunch break, Nagisa was called by three of his classmates who claimed they had the plan to take down their teacher. Nagisa was always watching his teacher, searching for any weakness he could exploit. He knew he wasn't the time to act, but his friends convinced him that no one would ever suspect or even notice Nagisa. Nagisa thought if he could pull off a successful assassination, then maybe he could finally be acknowledged. As the class progresses, Nagisa finishes his task and takes it to the teacher. He innocently walked toward the teacher with a knife hidden behind his paper. As he tries to strike, the teacher stops him. Nagisa reveals his true weapon, a grenade in his necklace, and hugs the creature with a smile on his face. His classmate uses a remote to detonate the grenade, and it seemed to have worked, until they discovered a thick membrane covering Nagisa from the ceiling. The teacher then revealed that he sheds his skin once a month, and had used his old skin to protect Nagisa. The air in the room grew ominously still. The teacher then bolted out of the room, returning with the students' house nameplates. He reminds the students that he promised to not to harm them, but if they put the lives of other colleagues at risk again, their family members will suffer the consequences. The teacher praised Nagisa's genuine and innocent approach, providing Nagisa with the acknowledgement he'd been craving. Nagisa smiled again and told the teacher he'd be the one who will kill him. The next day, Karasuma was admitted as the class PE teacher, but instead of the usual sports drills, he's more focused on stabbing, shooting, and assassination. Just as the class was ending, a new member arrived at the school, Karma. He was suspended from the elite class due to his aggressive behavior. He greets his new teacher and tentacle shakes it. But, the teacher's hand was destroyed in the process. Karma had glued anti-teacher material pieces onto his hand to see if it would work. Arriving in the classroom the next day, Koro was shocked to find an octopus stabbed into his desk. Karma apologized and explained that he had killed the animal thinking it was his teacher. Koro approaches the boy ready to show him the incredible power of his tentacles. He uses an octopus to make takoyaki and stuffs it into the boy's mouth. Then, just when Karma tries to shoot, Koro takes the opportunity to give the boy a fabulous nail job. On the way home, Nagisa ran into Karma. Both of them used to be part of the elite class, but Nagisa's grades had turned him into a failure. Karma told Nagisa that despite being a bit strange, the professor was a good teacher, but they still have orders to kill him. Just then, the professor appears and challenges them to improve their combat skills. Karma poses the question would the teacher be willing to sacrifice his own life to save one of his students? After hearing a yes, Karma pulls out his gun and leaps off the cliff. The plan was to shoot Koro the moment he tried to save him. But Koro used his tentacles to build a web and catch the boy before he hit the ground, outsmarting and rescuing his student without running the risk of being killed. At the Ministry of Defense, the president declared that he was certain that Karasuma would be able to handle the situation. But there has been zero progress, so he decided to send two new students to put an end to this monster. Everyone was shocked when they found out that the new student was an AI robot equipped with weapons. Its mission was to take out the teacher without harming a student. In its first attack, the crazy robot whipped out its machine guns and went for the teacher. That machine may not have been successful in its attempts, but it has the ability to learn and evolve. All day, its relentless attacks caused great dissatisfaction among the other students who were trying to concentrate on what was being taught. In the end, they were left to clean up the mess created by the robot. 
but the robot's learning ability meant that if the robot continued to evolve, there was a 90% chance it would succeed in killing Koro within the time limit. But that didn't matter to the students, all they cared about was getting rid of the disruption to their classes. So the next day, they took matters into their own hands and chained up the robot to prevent it from continuing to shoot. After class, the teacher approached the robot and improved its software, giving her all the data on his students. The next morning when the students arrived at school, they received a notification on their phones. When they opened the message, the artificial intelligence informed them that it had decided to make an app of itself to facilitate interaction with its colleagues. And it wouldn't try to eliminate the teacher alone but instead strive to learn to work as a team. The robot then announced that a new student has transferred and is about to arrive at school. A man in white enters the classroom and introduced himself as Shiro, the new student guardian, and his gaze fixed upon Nagisa. Seconds later, Itona, a white-haired boy, storms into the classroom, destroying the wall. He proudly takes a seat, having proven that he was stronger than the wall. What a weirdo. Itona made a bold claim. He was stronger than anyone in the room. He challenged the teacher to a battle, while calling him older brother. The teacher accepted the challenge and Shiro set a single rule. The first one to step out of the space delimited by the desks would be the loser. As soon as the battle began, Itona unleashed his first attack and shocked everyone by ripping off one of the professor's tentacles. Everyone was in surprise as Itona revealed his own tentacles coming from his head. The teacher noticed that the boy's tentacles were still growing and developing. But he suddenly gets mad, asking how the boy got those. The boy attacked with all his might, but the teacher managed to dodge each blow, though it cost him energy to regrow his tentacles. The boy was determined to land the killing blow, only for his tentacles to be damaged in the process. Koro used the anti-teacher knives and threw them on the floor to make it look like he had been hit. With Itona momentarily disarmed, the teacher used his shredded skin to cover Itona and tossed him outside the building. Although he was protected by the professor's skin, the boy lost the fight as he was out of the ring. Shiro took the kid and left with a promise they would soon return. The students questioned their teacher as to why he chose to become their class teacher. Koro revealed that he had made a promise to someone, yet could not share the details. As days pass, Karasuma's guidance enables the students' assassination skills to sharpen with practice. Though none of them seemed to stand out, Karasuma started to feel the presence of an extraordinary python-like aura wrapping around his body. Fear coursed through his veins, instinctively moving his body body to knock Nagisa down. With the class now over, he walked away, still uncertain if Nagisa's strange aura was just his imagination. Just then, he encountered Akira, a former army buddy. He was the new PE teacher, and before he even started training the students, he had already made an impression. He gave breakfast to the students and was welcomed with open arms, they were already eager to learn from him. However, that is his teaching method, getting close to his students and treating them like family, only to then begin a dictatorship. Even using violence, Akira imposed a new routine. The students would have classes from Monday to Sunday, all the way until night. But one of the students wasn't too happy about it, unhappy that their grades would suffer, so Akira took the student down by force. He then tried to pressure them by giving them hugs, but the students still insisted that Karasuma's training was better, and so Akira had no choice but to slap one of the girls. He demanded them to do 300 squats. One of the girls started begging for Karasuma to appear and rescue them. Just as Akira was about to punch the girl, Karasuma appeared out of nowhere, grabbing his fist and ordering the psychopath to leave his students alone. Akira argued that Karasuma's training methods were ineffective, which is why those teenagers were so weak. He then challenges Karasuma to select his strongest student to battle against him. He promised that if the chosen student could even once touch him with a knife, he would admit defeat and leave the school. After carefully considering each student's abilities, Karasuma approached Nagisa. Most students never suspected that Nagisa had a hidden talent. Nagisa approached him with a smile, looking as innocent as a kid walking to school. That innocent smile suddenly tried to slash Akira's neck. The guy dodged, but Nagisa moved like a snake, spinning around and thrusting the knife into his neck. The man was livid, he refused to accept defeat. He demanded a rematch, but Nagisa reminded him of the deal they had made. Despite his humiliation, the man eventually left. All the students thanked Nagisa for getting rid of the crazy psychopath. Koro then decides to reward his students for getting the highest score in their best subjects in the final exams. They didn't only improve their grades, but they're closer to becoming an elite class instead of a class made of rejects. And so, the teacher will let the best students shoot one of his tentacles. As a result, the kids decided to take advantage of their summer vacation trip to a resort island. 
so they can carry out their assassination attempt. Before their trip, Karasuma invited Lovro, a former professional assassin, to evaluate the kid's progress and offer them training. Upon his arrival, he was astonished to find that most of the class had become highly skilled in using different weapons, some even reaching a professional level. Nagisa was curious to know how the best assassin in the world works. Lovro mentioned the Reaper, an assassin so skilled that no one knew his identity. Lovro had heard of Nagisa's innocent looks with a deadly python aura, and decided to take it upon himself to teach him an extraordinary technique, an instant kill move. A few days later, the class was off to a tropical island resort. With the sun shining and the teacher sunbathing, the teenagers started to make preparations for their plan to assassinate him. After having dinner, the kids watched the teacher use his emergency shedding technique to get rid of his sunburned skin, allowing them to start their plan. The kids distracted their teacher, exposing all his dark secrets by making him watch a movie. Little did he know, as he became mentally exhausted, the chapel was slowly filling with water and bloating his tentacles. Suddenly, the students sprang into action, shooting off their teacher's tentacles and blocking his escape with a cage. With him now trapped, the snipers were able to take aim and shoot their teacher. Despite their best efforts, the class's plan ultimately failed when their teacher used his last absolute defense form. This form was a sphere with an invincible crystal barrier surrounding it, giving the teacher unbeatable protection. However, in this form, he couldn't move for a whole day. The students stared at each other in disbelief. Their attempt to assassinate had failed. Just then, many of them suddenly began to feel ill. Karasuma received a call from an unknown number. The voice on the other line said that he had used an artificial virus on their food, one that would cause them to die within a week unless they had the antidote. He offered to trade the antidote for the teacher and demanded that two of the smallest students deliver the teacher within an hour. The students who didn't feel ill defied the idea and decided to infiltrate, get the guy down and take the antidote to save their mates. They proceed with that plan, dealing with several amateur assassins on the way. Everyone managed to get to the mysterious caller's room, and what they discovered sent a shiver down their spine. The mastermind was their former teacher, Akira. Akira was humiliated during his last fight, but he's determined to seek revenge. He calls up Nagisa and invites him to the rooftop for a rematch. Nagisa followed Akira, desperately seeking the antidote. But Akira had other plans in mind. He demanded an apology and forced Nagisa to his knees. Still unsatisfied, Akira wanted to see the despair on Nagisa's face. And so, he decides to blow up the briefcase containing the antidote. Nagisa, overcome with a surge of bloodlust, rage, and despair, snatched up the knife from the floor and declared that he would take Akira's life. Nagisa readied himself for the rematch, taking off his jacket. With a determined glint in his eye, he picked and tucked a stun rod away and prepared to face his opponent. However, Akira's combat skills were too much for Nagisa to handle, and he was quickly taking a beating. With a sadistic grin, Akira declared that he would use Nagisa as a trophy to satisfy his own dark desires. However, Nagisa's smile made Akira uneasy. He remembered the technique Lovro had taught him. Nagisa walked up to Takeaka with an innocent smile, his hand tightly gripping the knife. Akira's eyes widened in dread as his mind flashed back to that fateful day when that same smile almost cost him his life. Nagisa dropped the knife and clapped his hands, sending a shockwave of surprise through Akira. Before Akira could react, Nagisa had already smacked him with his stun rod, sending a jolt of electricity through him and subduing him. Nagisa thanked Akira for all he had taught the class. The kid gave him another bloodlust-filled innocent smile and electrocuted him again. Everyone celebrates his victory, but they need to find a way to save their classmates. The amateur assassins arrive on the scene, revealing that there is no need to worry. They could not bring themselves to carry out Akira's plan and harm innocent children. Fortunately, the kids are suffering from food poisoning and, with some rest, should be back on their feet in a few hours. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.